In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a character in the Gotcha Life app. This includes all Gotcha apps that have been currently released so far, which is Gotchaverse and Gotcha Life, soon to be Gotcha Club. So, when you start this up, you have a random list of characters in these character slots. Today, we're going to be setting a couple up. If you go to presets, you can actually have a tab or inventory system that has multiple characters that have already been pre-made. Today I'm going to be using Looney and we're just going to be editing off what we have already. So here we are going to create a better look for this character. So we're going to go to the body and you can do this however you want. I'm going to click right here to change the skin color and I'm going to make it a little more tannish. I'm going to make the height three and the pose we'll set it for two now we're gonna uh, edit the hair so we're gonna click on this hair tab and then we're gonna select the back hair that you'll mainly see in this character so I'm going to use this one all right um, the back hair the back hair is right here as you can see and you can select different kinds I'm gonna select the third one and for the front we'll go with this one so now that we got this done really edit whatever you want in here it doesn't matter how you edit it edit to however you want to edit it so I'm gonna select the base hair this is the main color for the hair and I'm gonna set this to white and then for the tips I'm gonna set this to red if you want to um, rapidly select colors until you see one that you like you can hold down the uh, left mouse button and just hover over everything and it'll change as you hover over it. The fade, I'm going to make this, yeah, I'll go right there. Now we're going to move on to the face. So I'm going to change the eyes to the, nah, let's go with the fifth one. We'll just leave the pupils out. I don't like the glare on the eyes, so I'm going to click down here on this button. And it'll disable the glare. If you want to make the character look at the camera, you can click this to make it look at you. I'm going to change the color to probably grayish. And what I'm doing is just matching the character to the colors that they're wearing. So, let's see. Like I said, uh, you could actually create the character however you wish. Um, I had a couple of people wondering how to create their own character. So I'm doing this. Okay, I will add an accessory for now. So let's go to the clothes tab and select a shirt, this one. And it's starting to look like a Boy Scout uniform. So let's actually find a different shirt. We'll go with this. Yeah, that's right. We'll go with that color. Let's remove the gloves. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's change the shoes to probably this yeah let's go with the uh, leather texture and I guess we could add an accessory yeah why not now we're gonna go to props we'll just see what kind of props we have to work with Because I'm sort of going for a uh, coding background for the character. Make it look like the code, basically. Eh, I guess we could put a piece of paper. Just make it white. Oh, that's actually gray. Let's go with white. Okay, so we got that character done. As you can see, this is the finished product. Uh, if you want, you can edit the profile right here and change the name um, usually when I make animations I just put a space and then just click the check mark button so I don't have to hide the name because the name won't really show up uh, now we're going to click on the studio mode and we're going to see how the character looks so first we're gonna click on this background tab and then we're gonna find a background we want to use in the, uh, the screenshot because that's what this is mainly going to be wrapped around is screenshots that you just 
put together for about three to five seconds and then it goes to the next frame which is also the same thing as an image we'll go with this one so now he's holding coffee okay alt print and windows key button to take a screenshot there we go and we have just successfully made a screenshot of our first clip there now he's sitting on the ground or standing and like I was saying before you don't have to hide the name because there's no name set up on it so we're just gonna tie something in the text field and there you go and it even raises it I believe if I'm not mistaken because if you set the um, name to hide it'll lower it and if oh, and if you don't want to lower it you could raise it doing that as well well I hope you find this tutorial very helpful thank you for tuning in to the gotcha community tutorials I will leave a link in the description so you can find more tutorials and hopefully we'll have more uploaded by the time you come back so thank you and hope you enjoyed the show